Welcome back to a new episode of linuxmuster.net. My name is Stefan from openschoolsolutions.org and today we're going to finish our Xubuntu installation. We will change some settings so we can deploy um, an image of this computer to every other computer in our school network. Before we start, we will change a rule in our firewall. So we go to our firewall and we go to firewall rules and then to our LAN interface. So in the default setup, um, there's a proxy server installed on the firewall. So every computer in our school network, every user has to authenticate against this proxy to get access to the internet. So this default setup, we will talk about that later. For the moment, for installation and installing software, we will enable this rule, the allow entire LAN. So we click here on the play button enable this rule so our client has access to the internet good click on apply changes okay done so here we are at our master client that we installed last time let's enter our password so now we will change some settings so we can use an image of this computer and deploy to other computers so first we open a terminal the first thing we have to do is to disable UUIDs in our Grub configuration. So we change this here in ATC default and then Grub. So the problem with UUIDs is that in Ubuntu or here in Grub, Every partition, every hard disk has a unique UUID, so the system recognizes the partition. Um, this is normally okay if you have a, like a standalone installation, but if we want to use an image of this computer and deploy it to other computers, it will work on our master client, but if we start the same image on another computer, it won't find the partitions, the hard disk, because the UUIDs are different. So we want to uncomment this line here um, grab this able Linux UID is true. This is what we want to uncomment and just exit and save. And the next thing is we want to edit also our F sub file etc F sub file and you see we have the UUIDs here too. So we delete this. We delete the UUIDs here. And here we can see the partition it was before installation. So this is what we put here. Because I'm using here XCPNG server, it's dev not SDA1, it's XVDA1. So dev X, XVDA1. Okay. And the same for swap partition. It's dev x VDA3. Okay, we can see it here. Okay, exit and save. And now we can update our grub configuration. So we run sudo update grub. And now it's generating, uh, generating new uh, grub files. There's another place where Linux uses UUIDs here in our setup. It's when it tries to resume from a hard disk or if you hibernate the computer, if you shut it down, sometimes it saves files and it tries to resume from that um, swap partition. So we want to disable that and we can do this here under sudo slash etc. init rum disk tools conf d and then we need to create a new file. It's called resume. And it's empty because we just created it and we want to put in um, resume equals none. Okay, set this to none and save this file. And then we need to update our um, init rum file system. So update init rum fs dash u. Update is done. The next thing we will do is to install the tools we need to join our Linux Musa domain server. So we open our browser. 
and we will search for Linux Muster. Here it is client ADSSO. And here we have the files. And we go to wiki and go to installation and copy this line. We go back to our terminal and we just switch to a root shell sudo dash e. Okay, get this. Okay, good. We will add the repository, copy it, and paste it here. So we want to change Bionic to Focal because we are using Ubuntu or Xubuntu 20.04 and not 18.04. Okay, enter. And now we want to update our system. So after it's done, now we can install the client tools up, install Linux Monster Client AD SSO. And we need to create a lot of new tools. Just yes. Yes. So we were asked about uh, the configuration cover as authentication. We just leave it empty and just go OK. And now we set up everything what we need. So this is done. And now we can join our um, domain with Linux Muster. Kloop turnkey. Enter. It asks us if we want to set a new password for Linux admin. No, we don't want that. It asks if we want to do like upgrade system upgrades. If you haven't done it before, it's recommended to put yes here, but we have done it before, so no. And now it tries to get some network information. Okay. So now we it wants to join our domain Active Directory. So we need to enter the password for our global admin here. Let's do this. Enter. And now it joined our PC, RC, P01 in our domain. Everything's done. And it asks us now to reboot the client. Before we do this, before we reboot, we will change some settings in our Xubuntu group. So let's go back to our dashboard, go to Limbo. And here's our Xubuntu group. And we want to quickly change two things. So first thing is we go to our Ubuntu partition and click Advanced, go to OS. So first thing we like to do is um, the default thing, the default action in our limbo, we want to change to just start. We have no base image yet. And here for a kernel, we want to put in slash boot. And also here, boot, and then the in-ROM disk image. This will boot uh, our client directly from, from limbo without booting grub of Xubuntu first, so it's a little bit faster and also helps to prevent further issues with uh, UUIDs. Okay, here for my setup, I need to add information where my root partition is, xvda1. This is just necessary because I'm using xcpng. If you're using another hypervisor, it's maybe not necessary if you're Partitions are SDA1, for example, you don't have to add this, but because it's in my case XVDA1, I need to add, tell uh, Limbo where the root partition is. Save. And here also, save. Now we're going back to our client and we're going to reboot it. Okay, here. Yeah. And restart. Now we are again back in Limbo and now we want to create an image of this computer so we can deploy it to another computer. So we click here on imaging 
enter our global admin password just as a timeout and now we go to create image it's this red icon here click here and now we don't have um, an image name yet so we click here new file name new basis image and we enter our image file Ubuntu and then we click the button here in the middle it means create and upload so we create an image of this computer of our um, Xubuntu installation and then upload this image to our server so we can use it to deploy to other image other computers okay it zeros uh, empty spaces so later we have a smaller image so this will take a while okay now we can see that uh, the, our Xubuntu image is uploaded to the server and we need to go back to our um, limbo configuration click on Xubuntu and now we go back to partitions then we edit our Ubuntu partition and now we can select our base image here and you see two base images normally we select Ubuntu Club that's the most recent and also limbo will create uh, like a, a one version of timestamp so we want to go back an image and then you can select the image okay but here we go we select our Xubuntu image and click save save and now we're going to boot our uh, second client and then we can sync the image okay so here we have our second client and now we're going to sync the image we will press this yellow button it means like it downloads and sync the current image to our computer now we see it will start downloading the image um, in my virtual setup it's not very fast normally depends on your computer and your network connection it should be much faster the image is i think around two gigabyte okay download completed and now it will write the image to the disk okay here we have our second client booted with our new image so now we can log in with one of our domain users so for example we go here to students and we see here our student accounts and here are the usernames like pound max we will log in using this student so we type the username pound ma and the password and now we can log in so now we have a working image that we can deploy to other computers in our computer lab or to other students computers and if you click here we see we have some folders that are have um, have this icon this arrow icon and that means that these servers these folders are connected to our server and our user pound max he can save files pictures in these folders and they are also saved then on the server so if he logs into another computer he will find his pictures or documents there too that's it for today and we finished all the basic steps you need to have a successful running Linux booster setup in your school. We have our server setup, we have our uh, firewall running, and now we have our client computers running too. We have an image for them we can use to deploy to all our clients, and students can start using them, teachers too. But there's so much more we can do. Um, we can further adjust our image, and this is what we want to do in the next video. So, hope to see you soon. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about open source software that you can use in your school.